Hey, we're the mass holes. We're on the West Coast. We're the West Coast. Mass holes. We're the mass holes on the West Coast. We were from mass. We were holes when we're there, but we came out here and now we're West Coast mass holes. Hey, everybody. It's us. It's the West Coast mass holes. It's time to, to check in with us and see what's going on with me, Todd Anderson. And that guy over there, his name is Josh Wingate. Hi, Josh. Hi. Hi, one viewer, two viewers. We love you. Hi, uh, thanks for watching, <laughs> you two guys. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, have a, I have something to confess to you, Josh, you know, because you always uh, call me basic and, and stuff, you know? Uh -huh. You have Ugg uh, boots. What? You have Ugg boots and a flannel skirt on. Right, right. So uh, I was listening to the radio, you know, uh, over the weekend, mm. and uh, the song came on I hadn't heard before, and I, I said, uh, "Wow, I dig this song. This is good. I really like these lyrics. Uh, it's, it gro was. it's groovy." And then the and then the DJ came on, and he goes, "That was John Mayer," and <laughs> I said, "Ah, oh, fuck." Hey, listen. <laughs> I respect your confession, but John Mayer is an extremely talented musician, man. That guy is very, very talented. And I was uh, wondering what you thought of John Mayer. I mean, I know it's like sort of a stereotype to be an old white dude who likes John Mayer. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But no, that's uh, okay. But it's yeah. also like he plays with the dead now, so his cool status went up. He plays that's with right. dead. So, that's um, right. so it's okay that I like that song about taking the last train home or whatever it is yeah is this off his new album the 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 yacht rock album like it's all like 80s style yeah it's called, like, so. it called like uh sob rock or something like that the new yeah, album totally it's all it's, it's it's there's some there's some straight cheese on that album and i respect him for it because it's like he totally is like i'm gonna take all this cheesy shit that they did in the 80s and i'm gonna do it now uh, <laughs> it's uh, a like the song I like has kind of a uh, like a Mark Cohn feel to it. I guess. Okay, yeah, you know? that's he respectable. Was, he was eighties, right? Walking in Memphis, or was that nineties? Walking in Memphis, my head off the ground. That's a great fucking song. Yeah, that's a great song. I don't know the era. Um, I do know that that's a great song. It's either late eighties or early nineties. I, I, for sure yeah. i'm thinking late 80s I, I, mm -hmm. I, I think so yeah that's my guess that's my guess that is a good song I, are you I wearing, are, are you wearing a save ferris t-shirt yeah i am oh nice isn't that cool i'm the that coolest. is cool yeah. i am the coolest i love john mayer and old movies about white kids ditching school yeah yeah or getting stuck in detention on saturday i like that one too Oh yeah, that's a good one. The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Yeah, sure. it's great. Yeah. 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 Do you have I'll any problems? Uh, do you, do you have uh, do you have the the issues uh that Molly Ringwald says she has with it now? Uh or or you know, the uh sexual Wait, assault and whatnot in in Breakfast Club? Oh, is she woke now? Um well, I mean, and she said that about 16 candles too, which has a lot of stuff that hasn't aged uh, particularly well what what in particular was the sexual assault in um in breakfast club was it judd um what yeah. happened he, yeah like, bender like shoves his face in her crotch under the table oh uh, yeah but who didn't do that in high school <laughs> canceled john wingate canceled <laughs> uh, i never did that in high school which is why you know it was uh you know in a movie it was like whoa because it was so shocking and i think that's why they put it put it in there maybe yeah i don't know maybe people were doing that on the reg in high school i i didn't uh know about that but i guess you no, know here's the thing people did do that type of stuff i i you know side note i never did that in high school um Middle school, yes, but no, no, um, no, but this thing was like these movies and stuff like that. Those things 
happened. People did those things. Like we were in middle school, we used to snap the girls' bras and thought we were cool and play a game called Trust Me, you know, where you'd put your hand on their leg and say, Trust me. And they say, Yes, you move your hand up. Trust me, yes. And you move your hand up. Trust me, yes. And until they said no. And then, you know, of course you tried to go further, but it was like a, you know, you're experimenting with your sexuality and I never really did anything like way. that. I yeah. never did anything like that. No. You did that in middle school, you're saying? Middle school, yeah. We're a very promiscuous middle school, I guess. <laughs> um, but um, well, but the whole point, the whole point I'm trying to make is like I'm not condoning sexual assault or anything. I mean, that wasn't really sexual assault. Maybe you could argue that bra snapping was sexual assault, I guess. Maybe. Maybe um, you could. Um so I'm not condoning sexual assault, but what I'm saying is when movies show something like this doesn't mean like it's sexual assault on Ronald Molly Ringwald. And maybe it was a sexual assault on that character. And this guy was doing it and it's part of this movie and you could use it as a teaching tool. Now, I don't know if it, you know, and I think people were more apt to be, I think we're getting better, even though it doesn't feel that way because we live in America and it's so fucking crazy, but I think we're getting better as humans generally speaking i think most people the median of most people are getting better so yes we're teaching young men don't go and think you can just do whatever you want to a young woman and like grab her and stick your face in her crotch or whatever he did in the movie so that aging well and it can be used as a teaching tool you know what i mean sure yeah um yeah but yeah i mean like then what was it uh what was Tune in Tokyo? What movie was that? Tune in Tokyo. Put your hands in Tune in. I mean, that's sexual assault. What was that? Uh, it was um, one great Tokyo. 80s movie. Um, Tune in Tokyo. Oh, shit. When he tells the girl, he's like, hey, you want to play this game or see a magic trick or something like that? I forget what it was. And he's like, she's like, put your, put your hands up here and start doing this. And, and the guy grabs her breast and is like, tune in Tokyo, tune in Tokyo. Yeah, that was like straight up sexual assault. Yes. That for sure is. Yeah. Well, and yeah. much of what happens in movies, well, Revenge of the Nerds has lots of sexual assault uh, yeah. you know, uh, set pieces that are, ju- but I guess the thing that Molly Ringwald's thing about those movies like 16 Candles and this that bothers her now is that, you know, it's sexual assault as comedy. It, it was, a, you know what I mean? Right, but it bothers like, her. It bothers her now. It, then it wasn't bothersome. You know what I'm I don't saying? Know. So, I, I don't know. She's regretful about it now. I, that's all I know. Now, she wasn't yeah. regretful about it when she was a superstar. I guess not. Or if she was, she didn't voice her opinion. So yeah, I think that that's the problem I have with a lot of this wokey wokey shit. There's people getting wokey to shit that happened 30 years ago, and all of a sudden it's like this is an outrage. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like don't do that now yes okay you don't feel yeah. like now great but like to erase do you do you feel like history it's... film film cinematic history because we've evolved it, it just should, should be used as a historical teaching tool how we've evolved and how sure. storytelling evolves and how we are maybe becoming better what about old movies where you know uh animals are being killed on screen you know? yeah i mean it happened what are you gonna do say you know it never happened That's i know but when you go back and watch those is that a teachable moment thing or is it just yes. make you feel bad for those animals or like, what's the teachable moment if uh i mean that they were still doing that not very long ago uh sure. paul bettany told me a story or told a group of us a story when i was working with him uh i think it was a master and a master and commander oh yeah the far side of the world something like that or it was one of these movies and they were shooting in england it was under a british contract because i don't think you could at the, would have been able to do this under a sag contract um he had um there was a scene where he was uh had to kill a pheasant with his bare hands and then start defeathering. and he said they took so many takes he probably killed like 20 pheasants and real birds no. granted they took all the birds they deboned and made them and they made a big meal for everybody. So they, it wasn't like, it was like, eh. but, right, right. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. that was that, but to, to do that for the purpose of filmmaking, that seems a little bit, um, it's kind excessive, of weird. excessive. Yeah. 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 But they did eat them. So that's good. You know, yeah. it's Still not like the, when, you, when you watch those old Westerns and like, 
horses are clearly being killed. It's, oh, yeah. I guess that's a little different because they didn't eat those horses after they well, killed them, you know. I mean, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe. Do people eat horse? That's not a thing. I know. In this, uh, this season of uh, The Walking Dead, they had to resort to it. Horse Eating meat. horses? Yeah. A horse, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it? Did it? Was it tasty? Did it, Did they enjoy it? I don't know. I don't know. They made it. The whole episode was about it, and it was stupid. It was one of those stupid <laughs> episodes where they spend a whole episode like trying to make a point about something. It's a... <laughs> yeah, I yeah. haven't watched that show in years. Um, um, what are you? You you vote yet? Do you vote? I do vote, but I have not vote, um, voted in this local nonsense. I traditionally have only been a uh, presidential, um, politically interested person. I have not. You gotta vote. Uh, you gotta vote historic. on the recall. You gotta vote. So I should. We should vote to recall. Is what you're saying? No, vote no on the recall. <laughs> I did see these great commercials about saying "fuck off" to the recall. Have you seen these commercials? No. Like the california courage group or something is paying they're basically saturday night live commercials but they're real they're like all people saying in a bunch of different languages to say fuck off to the recall and they're literally like it's freaking hilarious i'm like this is a joke where but is that on the in the internet that you saw no, it was it was on uh well we were watching um i think we were watching walking it was on the amc streaming platform so is it commercial? What do they bleep out? Fuck or something? Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, but see. it was That's pretty cool. funny. Yeah. So I was like, it seems like they're making a joke of it all. You know? Well, but are they making a joke of what? What is there? What are they? What are they trying to get people to do? To vote no on the recall, or just yeah. vote, or just not vote? Like, no, vote the- no on the recall. Oh, oh, I see. I see. So it is yeah. trying to get people to vote on the code, but the approach is pretty elementary and childish. Uh huh. Yeah, and making fun of other people. It's kind of like I don't know. I don't like that shit. But are they making <laughs> fun of like Larry Elder and stuff? Uh, well, mostly making fun of people that we make fun of. <laughs> but but it's like I don't I don't have any problem with people making fun of of Larry Elder. He's he's no, he, it's, he's it's not he's him. Andy with that. the tongue sword himself. Uh, I I got I got no problem with that. No, it was I like just, I'm worried about. that like the tone. If that's a successful ad campaign, it sounds like the tone is so goofy. It, it might send the wrong message that like, like people it, this is a joke you don't have to bother to vote but if that's what it if kind people of people don't like. vote which is what the republicans are counting on then they potentially could put larry elder in office mm-hmm. and then we're all really fucked welcome to west coast florida <laughs> <laughs> you already live in west coast florida <laughs> steamy valley that's yeah, true of- skinheads and shit up there a bunch of bringing angry white people they're just trying to spread their disease of their angry whiteness uh, there was uh i i we braved going to a matinee yesterday so i saw the movie uh candy man oh yeah yeah uh what's his name yeah. is in that is um um i worked with him on fear of the walking dead um uh coleman domingo Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The acting is very good in the Candyman movie. Um, but That's there, good. Was, there was a couple like on the other end of our row, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just them and us in our row, but they were, you know, they were looking at their phones and like recording the movie, like like bits of the movie, and then they play back that bit that they just recorded to themselves while the while we were all sitting there in the movie you know and uh like part of me was like i i i want to go say something you know but then part of me was like i th- it's just going to th- it's going to cause a big problem there's going to be a problem yeah yeah cuz you it's know people like that people like that are looking for uh looking for a fight you know or they're just too dumb to know what you're talking about and then like yeah either way yeah and chances are if they're that kind of dumb that they'll respond with uh, scolding uh, with uh, anger so you know so in other words i i didn't say anything i i never know what to do in situations like that 
because there's the principle of the thing. You crop know. dust him. You got to crop dust him. Crop That's dust him. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't gassy, though. I, I don't know what to tell you. No one in your family had gas then, who? No, not you that we had, not that I knew of. If I yeah, if I had thought of tiny, crop dusting, yeah, I would have. Yeah. You could have just said, I need you got I need you got anything brewing. <laughs> no, crop <dusting>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'll have to remember that next time. Um, yeah. And then that, you, or, you, or you walk with your drink uh, and you inadvertently trip. And a drink goes over all of their phone and themselves, you know. And then you become very apologetic. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. And you yeah, start crying one. and you urinate yourself all over them because you're so upset and you urinate all over them simultaneously. Right. And then you tear tear out your destroyed underwear and throw it on the floor near them. And yeah. And then, yeah. and then cry, so and then you know, but and then vomit on them. <laughs> You're just so upset. You you've lost all bodily function <laughs> control. All right, that's good advice. Sage advice. That's how to deal with uh, obnoxious people at a movie theater. Yeah. Um, and uh, 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 please, uh, today is election day. Vote and vote no on the recall. And if you want to have fun, you can check Angeline's name after that. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Newsom said not to check a name, I checked the name. All right. There it is. Uh, speaking of uh, recalls, fuck you, Nazis. Well, right there. Uh, uh, uh. This is the international sign for fuck you. Now, if you're in England, fuck off, yeah? Fuck off, yeah. Nazis. Fuck off, Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, we'll see you next time on West Coast Mass Holes. Bye. This has been a Blursh production. Blur.